What's going on everybody? Sean here with Butler Branding and we are here with another whiteboard session. Today, I wanna to get as basic as you could possibly get when it comes to branding, and that is defining our term. What is branding? What is a brand? Uh, they're two different things, and it's important to know what the difference is. Now, traditionally, if you are to talk to 10 different companies or do a Google search uh, for the question, what is a brand or what is branding, you're likely to get 10 different answers uh, mixed with a little bit of magic or snake oil. And it seems to be this kind of mystery about like what is branding? Well, hopefully I'm gonna clear the air of first off what branding is not, uh, second off what branding is, and third, um, how you can be intentional about your brand. And so again, if, uh, if you think of, if you look at the, the term brand or branding, it comes from a mark of ownership. So think of branding cattle with a branding iron, right? So that's where the term comes from but companies ended up adopting that word branding to differentiate their company, their products and services from the rest. And so what a lot of people do is they, they think the traditional or the, the popular understanding of what a brand is as a noun is a brand is your logo or it's your corporate identity system. It's your, your colors, your fonts, how you identify your, uh, yourself. It's your tagline or it's your product, right? Coca-Cola or Nike, these are products, so the brand must be shoes or, or, or soda. That's not necessarily the case. The, and again, the traditional view of what branding is as a verb is often thought of as putting your logo on stuff, right? So if you go to some companies, they'll position themselves as a branding company, but really all they do is they get your logo and they put it on sports bottles and flash drives and different kind of marketing collateral. Uh, or they think branding is marketing or advertising. Again, these are misconceptions of what a brand is and what branding is. Um, and so it is not these things. I actually like Marty Neumeier's definition of what a brand is. If you read The Brand Gap or Zag, uh, Marty Neumeier defines a brand as a person's gut feeling about a product, service, or an organization. And I want to include into that, uh, it's people's gut feeling about you as a person. Every single person has a personal brand because the people that know you have developed an opinion about you. Really, that's what it is. It's their perception, their opinion about you. Uh, it, it's, it's your popularity, how you're known. So the, you know, another way you could think of it is your reputation. That's what your brand is. So whereas the common understanding of what a brand is, people think it's what you say about yourself or what you say about your product or your company, when that's not the case, it's really what they say it is. And so if that's what a brand is, as announced, people's gut feeling, you can't define, or I'm sorry, you can't design a brand because you can't design people's feelings or perceptions, but the best you can do is you can influence it. And that's where branding comes in. Branding is the art and the science of influencing public perception about a company, a product, a service, an organization, or a person. It's influencing people's uh, understanding of your reputation. So that's what the art of branding is. The, the, the role of a brand agency is to help be intentional about how people see your company. Now there's two pitfalls that most people fall into when it comes to branding. One is ambiguity, meaning we're mysterious. Uh, people don't really know who we are. Uh, we leave it to them to formulate their own opinions about who we are, what we do, uh, what we believe, and what our culture is like. But when we leave it to people to formulate their own opinions, nine out of 10 times, they're not gonna form an opinion that you want them to have about your company. That's why it's important to be intentional. Don't be ambiguous. You have to be intentional about telling people who you are. Uh, what is the message you're trying to convey? Uh, what do we believe? What is our culture like? What is your, um, uh, the experience that people could have with your brand? And that's where consistency comes in. The other pitfall is not only ambiguity, but inconsistency. People have a different experience when interacting with your brand, not only when it comes to your design. So if you, if, if someone looks at your business card, for example, and it doesn't look anything like your website and your brochures look different and all your ads on billboards or videos, they all have just, uh, inconsistent messaging, well, they're gonna say that this person doesn't really have a, a clear self-perception or this company doesn't have a clear perception of who they are. Or it's seemed, it's perceived as unstable, right? If you are, if someone has a different experience every time they call you or every time they walk into your office or every time they receive a product from you, it's a different experience, they're gonna think that you're unstable 
And then ultimately, it's a trust issue. People will not trust brands that are inconsistent. They want consistency. So when I get a product from a certain company that I like, if I get it a particular way, the next time I get that product, I want it to be the same exact way. When I call people, uh, I want that same experience every time. And so that's what branding is, is being intentional. Now, the first step of branding, uh, and, and again, this is everything, right? So even though branding, isn't a brand isn't your logo, it's not an identity, it's not a product. All of these things are part of branding because all of these things say something, they communicate some sort of message about you, right? So all of these things help influence people's perceptions. Same thing with marketing and advertising, the way you market yourself, this is all part of branding, but it is not branding in itself, right? And so the, the first step is understanding what branding is, why it's important, it's really everything because it's every kind of touch point that a user might have with your company. Uh, the second thing is, okay, how can we be intentional? And that's where brand strategy comes in. I'll save that for another video, but I am gonna put some links in the description below uh, so that you could, be, uh, you could get started with actually building user profiles, which is the first step in being intentional about branding is understanding who our users are, the people we're trying to serve. And so that's it, guys. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear some feedback. Comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.